Thanks for joining me guys for another video beer review. Another little comparison video for you. I'm looking forward to this one. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. So we're taking a look at the classic from Guinness and the new classic from Brewdog. Blackheart draft stout, Guinness draft stout. Right, okay, so the the nitty gritty bits and bobs before we get into it. So they're both 440 mil cans. They're both weighing in at 4.1% ABV. Now the prices, I picked this Guinness up from my local corner shop, 149 a can. And this is on an introductory offer of £1.75 out of Tesco's. Um, let's give it a whirl, eh? See what happens. I know my good friend Scott reviewed uh, the Blue Dog one last night. Fair review. Yeah, he was, he was fair, fair with it. I'm not going to it up, going everywhere. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritties of, of ethics and stuff because to be fair I think both parties are guilty of that. Right, there's the Guinness. Stay there. Right, okay. Yeah, I did have a couple of um, pints of this stuff when me and the wife were in Norwich. And I really enjoyed it, to be fair. You know, it was a, it was a decent stout and... They do a good burger as well in Brewdog. I must admit, they do a good burger. Right, okay then, so I think we've all levelled leveled off now. Stout's in the glass then. There's a little bit more of a cascading effect going on still with the Guinness, but yeah, both both jet black, a little bit more of a, a, a same colour head, off white head, about a finger of the Guinness and a three finger head on the on the Brewdog one. So let's get a nose on the Brewdog. 4.1% ABV. Yeah, a little bit of roastiness, a little bit of chocolate coming up. Yeah, it smells decent. Guinness draft. Not a great deal. A little bit of roast. Very, very subdued though compared to the brew dog one. Okay, let's dive in. Draft stout, classic 4.1% ABV from Guinness. Creamy, a little bit of roast, a smidgen of coffee. It's what I call, I mean, Guinness for me, I have a can every now and again. It's a go to beer for me if I go out and there's now on tap. It's what I call a safe beer. Black Heart, cheers. Again, first off the bat, creamy, cutting through that beautiful head. Roasty, fruity, a little bit of bitterness. Milky coffee. And very, very smooth. Okay, I mean, for me straight away, I think the the Brewdog Blackheart has got a bit more body about it. The Guinness one is damn sight more watery, even though they're 4.1%. They're both 4.1%. The the Brewdog one has got a bit more weight on the body than the uh, the Guinness. I mean, I always used to say that this was quite a heavy beer if you were sessioning it, but when you're putting it up against something like this, it pulls apart.
yeah, definitely night and day on the body. And I think, to be fair, the the, the brew dog the brew dog one pips it to the post as well with flavour. There's a lot more going on in the glass. Um, you've got more roast, you've got more bitterness. There's a bit more coffee going on than the, the Guinness. Yeah, definitely. There was a little bit of chill on there from both of them. I think the, for me the Brewdog one steals it. Uh, £1.75, yeah, it's a few pence more. I think the only thing which will let Brewdog down in this development would be if the price goes up to three quid. I think this, forget it. If it's three quid a can, forget it. If they can keep it under two quid, yeah, I think they'll do all right out of it because it's, it is a decent stout. Like I say, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly when I was uh, in Norwich Brew Dog. Quite a few pints of it, really, really enjoyed it. In the can, I think it's decent for the price. You can't argue with it, 175. Um, I think it wipes the floor with Guinness, to be honest with you. There's more going on. But there we go. Comparison video between the new Brewdog beer, Black Heart, Draft Stout at 4.1, up against the classic Guinness Draft at 4.1. For me, the Brewdog one pips them to the post. See you on my next one. Cheers.